Hey Crafty Cuties, welcome back to Paper Terrace. If you're new, I'm Jessica. I'm finally getting around to doing some of the requested videos. And in today's video, I am going to be showing you some of my favorite stitches on this sewing machine. This is the Brother Project Runway sewing machine. And it is a little hard to get your hands on, but there are some available still. And there's one or two that are very, very similar to this. They're the Brother brand, but slightly different. And I will try my hardest to put any links below. Um, I have found a another one that is, like I said, very, very similar to this. And it's, it's in the $100 range between one to $200, I would say. Sometimes it goes on sale. But anyways, back to the requested video. Thank you, Martin, for um, requesting this video. They definitely wanted to see number 70, which is a heart stitch, but like I said, I'm gonna go through and just show you as many as possible. Okay, so let me just do a quick overview of all of the stitches. I'm not gonna show the stitches on this um, every single time before I'm sewing a stitch, so I kinda just wanted to give you an idea of all of the different designs. Okay, so hopefully that gave you a good overview. I'll start with some of the basic ones and then we can get into uh, some of the more detailed ones. And I just have little swatches of paper. I am doing this on paper because I have, um, because that's what I sew on normally. So we are gonna get started. And like I said, I'll, I'll start with a basic stitch just so you can kind of get an idea here. And I'm always going to probably put the stitch length up quite a bit um, to around like the three mark. So this is gonna be probably a noisy video and uh, the lighting's awful today, but um, so this is stitch number zero, zero. Okay, so I'm gonna do this pretty quick so we can get through. Um, let's do number three. So like I said, I'm gonna be um, skipping a few of them just so I can actually get a chance to show you a bunch of them because there are a hundred or I should say 99. And that would be taking up a long time if we went through all of them. Um, oh, weird. Okay, for some reason I thought this was going to be a zigzag, but it's it's not a zigzag. Uh, I don't know if you can tell. It kind of, it, it's a little bit different than a straight stitch, though. And it's really hard to tell on camera. So, number four, this is probably my most used stitch. This is uh, a zigzag stitch. <laughs> You see me use this one all the time, very basic, but I love it. Um, and then there's a lot of different variations of the zigzag stitch, so I'm gonna move down to uh, number 11, which is kind of a cool one. Now, I do believe with a lot of these stitches, it's telling me to change the foot, and technically I probably should, but I don't. <laughs> I, I don't uh, follow through with those rules very, very easily. I like to just get going. This one's really cool too. So number 14. And you know, I'm realizing that I'm not really showing you what it looks like on here. So yeah, like I said, number 14 and you can change the stitch length on this one and you can really have it um, look quite a bit different depending on, let me do another one. So this is still number 14 and I'm changing the stitch length to 1.0. And then just to stay on the stitch one more time. So this was, okay, to the right was 1.0. This was 0.5. And let me go down to what number, 0.1 would look like. Oh, that's gonna be too close together, so one sec here. So as you just saw, or almost saw, um, my sewing machine got all tangled up, so one tip when you are sewing on paper is you do need to make sure the stitches are not too close together. So what I was just attempting to do, which was the point one, it was too close together and it definitely tore through the paper. So this is actually point four, this is point six, and this is 1.0 just so you have an idea. I'm not gonna do that for all of the stitches, but I did wanna give you an idea that you can change up um, the designs by choosing uh, different stitch lengths. So this is gonna be 18, 
and it's kind of like a crisscross and I realize I can't get my camera to focus on like this area and this area. I don't know what's going on, but anyways, let's go. So let's see what this looks like. Yeah, this is really cool. I like this a lot. That was 18. And now we're gonna go over here. Let me give you a closer view of this. So hopefully this gives you a good idea of how the stitch illustration compares to the actual stitch. We just did number 18 and I would say that it's really pretty accurate and gives a good illustration of what you can expect. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to stitch number 20. And I'm gonna keep it at the 2.5 stitch length. Oh, this one's really cool for sure. I like that one a lot. Okay, well, let's move on. Now let's try, let's see, 21 looks kind of similar to a zigzag. This one looks like a ladder. We're gonna go on to number 22. I'm gonna actually go across this way so we don't have to do too much. Okay, that actually, did I not change it? <laughs> I think I didn't change it, you guys. 20, okay, we're gonna move, oh my gosh. All right, we're gonna do number 22, which looks like a ladder. And I'm gonna change the stitch length in the middle here right now, it's at 3.0, and I'm gonna take it all the way up to 4.0. So not too much difference on, on the stitch length. So that was that one. And now I want to switch to, oh, let's do 24. That's kind of a fun swoopy little thing. I'm doing 2.0 for the stitch length. Okay. Definitely fun. And it's just, crazy how much the design can change with changing out the stitch length. So you really have so many more options. Um, I'm gonna do number 25 now, and this is actually definitely one of my favorite, probably most used, and I like to probably take it up to about, whoops, 2.0. Now, I'll be honest, I don't change the bottom number too much, and something you may be noticing is I also rarely ever change the tension. And if you're curious, I have it at about a 2.3 and I'm usually, um, I'm usually sewing on paper or sometimes fabric, but I really never change it. And so anyways, I just changed the stitch length so you can see again how, how much that can change. Okay. So I'll give you a couple examples um, of fabric at the end, by the way. Okay, we're gonna go to number 27. It kind of almost looks like little asterisks. Okay, I feel like we gotta get going a little bit faster. Wow, this one's really cool, and I can imagine it looks really cool, again, changing stitch lengths. Okay, that was number 27, and oh, there's so many cool ones. I wanna show you 28 as well. Okay, so now to speed up this video a little bit because I really wanna be able to show you a lot of these stitches, I'm gonna go ahead and sew a bunch of them off camera and then I can just show you the swatches. And be, also, if you wanna see a very, very quick version of this, I will try to put something together on TikTok or maybe the YouTube uh, shorts. So be on the lookout for that one too. All right, so like I said, I went through and just picked quite a few different ones. So here we go. We're gonna start with number 30 is over here. Number 33, that's kind of a cool one. And then I skipped to 50 because there were a lot of um, designs that 
I don't know, they looked a bit too detailed and close together, which I wouldn't recommend for paper. But this is number 50. Number 59. Kind of a weird one, but this one's really cool. This is number 60. And like I said, I did a few on uh, fabric to show you also, so I'll show you at the end. Number 64. This kind of looks like little uh, kite like, yeah, kite strings, I guess you would say. <laughs> Number 66, I really like this one. Uh, this is probably another one of my most used ones. Number 68, because I like to do a lot of journals with botanical and kind of leafy themed journals. And so this is number 69. That's also supposed to look like a leaf. It might look a little more realistic um, with changing up the length. Uh, um, yeah, probably. Let's see here. These are kind of out of order. So this is number 70. This is what she actually had requested and really wanted to see. I did this one on the fabric too, so I'll show that in just a sec. We have number 72 and 75. I think that's supposed to look like a four-leaf clover, but I really like that one as well. And then we skip to 83 and 92. Um, between... 77 and 99 it's a lot of these types of designs i'll show you so like i said starting at about 77 all the way through whoops um a lot of those designs are really cool but again the stitch lengths have to be pretty close together to see what the um design is supposed to look like and so i do try to avoid those because they do typically tear the paper and it probably helps if you also um, change the, to the correct foot which it's not a hard thing to do but for me I like to stick to simple so here we go this is just a few on fabric this was number 70 the hearts this was number 68 the um, leaves that I like doing this I think is number 25 and then this one was number 27 I believe so they look relatively similar on fabric versus um, paper. And again, I don't have any issues sewing on paper. I've had this sewing machine for, I, I don't know, a f quite a few years and I've never had a break or anything like that. I get that question a lot. And if you're interested in more sewing videos, I can link down a playlist below where I have all of my sewing videos. But if you do wanna see anything else related to sewing machines, um, let me know what your idea is down below and I can try to add that into my request list for videos. And thanks again for that request. Like I said, if you've recently requested a video, I have been writing them down and trying to get to them as good as I can. But if you did have a request and uh, you really, really wanted me to do it, go ahead and leave it below once again, just so I can make sure it is added to my list. And that's all for today's video. Thank you guys so much. See you later. Bye.